Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I'm trying to grab every present I can from the great gift pile by completing Steam Holiday Sale Objectives. And this is another objective I'm bringing to you guys. This is Spiral Knights, and it's Son of a Nutcracker. The objective is to hit an opponent with a snowball in lockdown. Uh, now, if some of you saw that and you weren't quite sure exactly what that meant, what lockdown is, or how to hit someone with a snowball, I'm going to sort of try to show you that. Uh, I'm not considering this a guide. This is just a video of me doing it, uh, and that sounded weird. But uh, this is a video of me getting the achievement. Let's, let's use that particular sentence instead. Uh, so Spiral Knights, if you're not familiar with it, it is an absolutely free-to-play game, and there will usually be one of these per day on this Steam sale. Something you can do that is free. The first day it was look at your inventory, today it's an achievement in Spiral Knights. Spiral Knights ain't going to cost you nothing. You don't even have to set up an account, you can use your Steam account to log in. Let's go ahead and log in now. Uh, if you're not familiar with Spiral Knights, you will very quickly get an idea of what this game is. It is an overhead uh, RPG action slasher. Um, previously, I would have described it as uh, looking and feeling like the older Zelda games, but a more recent uh, model that we can, a more recent game that we can uh, we can latch onto is Bastion. It's got that Bastion feel. So uh, this game is a lot of fun. It has an interesting system. Um, it is free to play with some of these. You can see these little perk packs here and things that you can buy. Uh, but we'll talk a little bit real quick uh, about the game. Well, actually, we already did that. We already talked real quick about the game, so we're not going to talk about it anymore. <laughs> we, if you really want to check out uh, this game, I, I can highly recommend it. Uh, it it's, it's a fun old time, and for some reason, my frame rate has tanked. Wow. I don't know if you guys are going to see that or not. But, yeah. So, anyway, uh, let's just talk about... <laughs> Uh, let's talk about how to uh, what is lockdown mode and how to get into it. You'll find some helpful folks in the chat, in the global chat, that might give you some directions. But just in case you can't find anyone, I'll show you how to access lockdown mode. Now, first things first, you got your little inventory here. You're going to need 200 crowns to do this. Uh, so play the starting area of the game. Just play a little bit, and uh, you should have your 200 crowns easy. And uh, once you have 200 crowns, come up here to the upper right-hand corner and you see these two swords clashing. Click on that. And from there you will see Lockdown. <clears throat> so you can queue up uh, to play on a random team. And once you queue up, you will get into a game of Lockdown. So uh, let's get in the queue and uh, we will sort of do our movie magic and we will get to a point where I'm already in a game and uh, vying for this achievement. So uh, here we go, guys. So we're in the lobby here for lockdown. Uh, we have found ourselves a game. You can see we're separated into two teams. And uh, from what I can tell, this is the first time I've played lockdown, uh, but from what I can tell, uh, lockdown is a sort of uh, control point based PvP. It looks like the little, uh, the little platforms over there that I walked across, that looks like a form of class selection. Uh, when I walked over the platform with a shield, I got a shield. I notice other players don't have shields. Some of them move faster. This guy seems to have some sort of electronic dynamite on his back or something. Um, so it looks like there's actually a, a layer of strategy to this that isn't immediately obvious. Uh, so I'm hanging on to these snowballs here. And uh, we are going to try to find some enemies. Uh, you'll notice that initially I'm a little bit unclear on what is an enemy. Uh, that guy is red looking, but I'm skittish to throw at him because he's got green, you know, a nameplate and, and, and a green selection under him. So I'm like, that nah, must not be an enemy. That's an enemy. Purple, uh, purple circle underneath him, clearly different than me. And uh, being a, a human being and being a male from the south, I kill things that are different from me. Just naturally, it's my instinct. So I spent my load there through my through my snowballs, and uh, did not achieve any hits. So I noticed some more snowballs that uh, spawned in over here, but uh, that guy, it looked like I hit him with those snowballs. I guess I didn't. Uh, this guy's all over me. Luckily, I get some assistance here, and we drive back that particular gizmo guy. I don't know what these people are. 
They're like robot teenager guys. Oh, there it is. And as you see, if you turn your attention to the upper right-hand corner of the screen, Son of a Nutcracker achieved. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you can see some people have been leaving the game um, pretty much as they achieve their Son of a Nutcracker. A lot of people are leaving. Uh, I felt a little sorry for the other team since we were kind of owning them, um, 205 to 70. Uh, so I hung around. I was like, well, you know, I'll give these guys a little bit of a chance to... Uh, I'll give these guys a little bit of a chance to actually get, you know, get their, get their nut, as it were, <laughs> and uh, snowball me. So uh, I hit that guy again with a snowball. When you hit someone with a snowball, you know you hit them because they turn into a snowman. Uh, so clever little, little mechanic there. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it. You guys see how to get into lockdown mode, and once you get into lockdown mode, you see what you need to do to actually achieve Son of a Nutcracker. So I hope this will help you guys out. I hope you guys will achieve Son of a Nutcracker again. Spiral Knights, this is an absolutely free game. About 15-20 minutes of your time should get you to a point where you can you can uh, log into Lockdown. Uh, you can queue up and get into a match of Lockdown and uh, get that achieved. Uh, hopefully you will be um, very, very lucky and get some amazing game or maybe you'll just get a lump of coal. Uh, we are about to head back out to the uh, to the Steam uh, objectives page and uh, we'll see exactly what I get. Fingers crossed for something good guys. Alright, let's head out and check it out. So after that rousing bit of snowball throwing action we find ourselves back here on the objectives page and there it is, son of a nutcracker exclamation mark hit an opponent with a snowball in lockdown achieved three objectives achieved now and we're gonna head over to the inventory and see what we won I am so excited my fingers are crossed my penis is erect and here we go and it is oh, 50% off Osmos so longtime fans of the channel might know that I own this game. I've done two videos on this game. This is possibly the most disappointing prize I could get. <laughs> um, is anyone interested in 50% off Osmos? Uh, do, don't know if you're interested in Osmos? Why don't you watch one of my two videos probably appearing on the left and right of your screen right now? So, uh, if you're interested in Osmos, uh, maybe we can talk. This item is tradable. What do you got? Might interest me, huh? Huh? Let's deal. Let's deal here. Sometimes I'm generous, sometimes I'm a cheap bastard. I've been playing my bounty hunter in Star Wars The Old Republic. It's all about the credits, man. Alright? See what we can do. I'll do anything if the, if the right incentives are there. So, make it worth my while, maybe you can get 50% off on this game. Tell me what you got. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, this is super disappointing. I would have rather had a lump of coal. Can I trade this for a lump of coal? I wish I could. Uh, yeah. So anyway, a uh, little update. That Dota 2 thing that I had in my, uh, in my inventory here, did anybody else get that in their inventory? Because I unpacked it, and it's like the game. Um... It's playable and everything. Did anybody else get that? I'm just wondering. Um, they just expand the beta? Or did I actually somehow win that as part of this promotion? I mean, not like the full game, like did I win the beta? I don't know. Um, why don't you guys let me know if you did any of the achievements for the 19th and got a Dota 2 gift in your inventory? All right, guys, you can see where I am so far. 50% on Valve, 50% on Osmos, and one lump of coal. So I'm going to try to hit up some more achievements, and uh, we'll keep it rolling, and I uh, will try to get these videos out for you, uh, as many of these as I can, before the weekend, uh, when I will probably have to stop with the video production for a bit. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate everyone, the new subscribers who've come to the channel in the last few weeks, uh, the guys who've been with me a long time. I'm just really, really enjoying myself, and uh, I, I hope that you can hear in my voice that I'm, I'm somehow, uh, besides being 
sick, or, or the fact that I'm getting sick, um, that I'm somehow reinvigorated since leaving TGN. And I had some people kind of ask me about maybe going back or, or, or you know, working something out with them. Uh, but I feel good uh, since leaving. I feel myself again. Um, and I really, really am enjoying putting out content on um, these last couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy. Fucking Osmos, you got to be kidding me.